What's up, YouTube? On my way back to the gym. Another day, another lift, you know what I'm saying? But I had a few things on my mind. I was watching some YouTube fitness videos, things like that. There's a lot of, you know, controversy going on right now. You know, last year's champion of the Mr. Olympia contest, which is like the biggest, you know, bodybuilding contest in the world, you know what I'm saying? And um, last year's champion was Sean Roden. And he's going through some things right now. I don't know if he's guilty or not guilty, if y'all want to look into the story. But, yeah, he was accused of, you know, doing something with um, a female that he shouldn't have done or maybe didn't do it. Um, guilty, innocent to proven guilty in my book. You know what I'm saying? Is it a setup? But what I'm saying is, fellas, 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 y'all watch yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Women... Y'all watch yourselves too, you know what I'm saying? But people that's out to get people, if that's the case, rethink your way of um, getting over in the world, you know what I'm saying? I mean, believe in yourself and, and, and know that you can do your thing without having to do nothing dirty. Whoever was the dirty person in the uh, situation, either if it was him or if it was her, you know what I'm saying? My, my opinion, why are you at this person's hotel at one, two, three o'clock. I forget what time it's supposed to be in the morning. Y'all supposed to be having a business deal. Y'all could have done that at Starbucks. Y'all could have done that at McDonald's. Y'all could have done that at a different time. Y'all could have done that anywhere. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know the whole details of the case because I'm more, I don't know, I'm more an introvert. Like, I'm more, if y'all can't tell by my videos, in real life, y'all would be able to tell a lot more. You know, I'm more of a person that I'm, I'm self-centered. I'm, I'm more, of, I can't really explain it. You know what I'm saying? I keep to myself. I don't talk to people. I keep to my thoughts. I meditate even while I'm doing things. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I get the job done wherever I'm at. I'm, I'm more to, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I be saying in the gym, like, be like, yo, I'm tired of people getting, people just, I can't do people. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh. Yeah, I mean, I like it that way. It's not a problem. People try to change you, and I'm like, no, it's not a problem. I like it that way. I get more done that way. You know, that's why I'm going to the gym almost 2 o'clock in the morning right now. You know, it's going to be people in there, though. I mean, it's, it never fails. But I was just thinking about that case, and I'm like, man, because I was thinking about comparing people that compare me to people they see on, you know, TV or or. or bodybuilding and this and that and third. I'm like, man, I'm natural. You can't compare this to that. And I was talking to this one guy about it and we was like, man, the Sean Roden case. And I'm like, man, dude, I hope the best for whoever's right in that situation. But yeah, y'all watch yourselves, man. But I'm about to go hit this. Um, I think I'm hit um incline bench press. I've been wearing myself out on lower body. My lower body has been super weak lately. I mean, I'm deadlifting about the same weight that I was deadlifting when I was 205 and I'm 168 right now. Um, I would say a couple pounds lighter. My deadlifts are a couple pounds lighter, but it's nothing too iffy. I know I can, you know, lift more, but my central nervous system has been super taxed. You only get one central nervous system for people that be like, oh, my lower body central nervous system. My upper body, no, it's when you got one central nervous system, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the things that work for you. No, some things are universal, man. <laughs> Don't hit me. I hate that. I hate it. Some things work for other people, and some things, no, man. Most things work for everybody. I'm sorry. It's either you're doing it or you ain't, but I'm just saying, man. I'm about to go kill this gym real quick. But, man, y'all just be mindful of the things you do. That's one thing that's, like, beneficial to the way I live my life. I don't mess with people. I keep a small circle. If you're not in my circle, then you only exist when I'm interacting with you. You know what I'm saying? You might be the coolest person in, in, on earth. We might be the coolest people uh, if we run into each other at Walmart or we know each other at the gym or at work or wherever. Um, we might kick it off real good. But when I'm away from whatever setting we in, you really don't exist to me. I'm sorry. It's nothing against nobody, but that's everybody. You know what I'm saying? If you're not in my household, you don't exist. In my world. 
You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's just how I feel like works for me. Different things work for different people, right? <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, y'all just be mindful. Y'all go look up that Sean Roden case, you know? It's crazy, man. It's, it's crazy. I'm like, man, I'm not even really looking into it. It just pops up as I'm a guy who everything I learned about fitness has been off of YouTube. So, you know what I'm saying? YouTube, this, Google, that. I put myself basically to through fitness college for free for like six years just studying, looking up things. I tell people all the time, stop teaching yourself. That's why you're failing. There's no shame in, you know, picking up your phone and uh and looking into things you know what i'm saying we all got computers it's 2019 we all got computers in our pockets or computers at home your phone is a computer you, you know what i'm saying you, you can look up things you can look up things on the playstation if you got online at the end of the day you know don't just use your online for entertainment purposes to laugh and whatever learn some things learn your craft sharpen your sword keep your sword sharp you know what i'm saying a lot of people think i'm a fitness genius which, you know, borderline, yeah. But at the end of the day, it took years for me to get here. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to just come into, you know, start going to the gym and automatically. I see two cars. Yeah. Two cars. Hope they weren't packed full of people. Yada, yada, yada. But um, I'm just making it here. But, yeah, man, y'all look into that, man. And tell me what you think. But. I see you in the gym. Too much rambling. I, yo, another thing. Pro tip. I'm always got a pro tip. Uh, save your energy. You know, save your energy for the weights. You know, don't spend a lot of time talking. Breathe. Focus. Next set is just important or more important than the set you just hit. Well, it is more important because the set you just hit is in the bag already. You gotta put the next set in the bag. Put the next set in the bag. You know, I gotta like I was thinking about um as I was getting in the car, getting ready, I kept having to stop and I'm forgetting something, go back and get this, go in the back seat to get that, do this, do that, you know, which is taking away some of my energy. But no, pro tip, another one. Back to back, I give you pro tip every um every video. But yeah, back to back, um, another pro tip. Everything you do in between, um, the time you're getting ready for the gym and the time you hit the weights, just think of it as part of your um, part of your warm up. You see what I'm saying? Just like a lot of people don't like to park far from the gym door. They would like to get the closest spot. No, that walk from the everything is part of your warm up. Just as you're doing it, just think about how your body is moving, how your shoulders and your joints and things are moving. Be mindful, mind muscle connection with everything you're doing. That way, you don't have to have such a long um, warm-up. Make sure your joints and muscles are warm, you know what I'm saying, especially if you're benching, warm up the rotator cuffs, you know what I'm saying? Hit all kind of different pulls and opposite motions and things like that. Make sure the rotator cuffs, the shoulders, you know what I'm saying, things that are prone to get injured with whatever lift that you're lifting, whether it's deadlift or whatever, make sure those joints or warmed up full body warm up is even better you know what i'm saying but make sure you really emphasize on whatever lift you're doing like i'm gonna give you the cheat sheet i was about to say look up the um things that are prone to you know i say a lot of people injure their back on a squat because of their form is wrong because they're not warm a lot of you are not warmed up your shoulders on the bench press your um biceps believe it or not are the main thing that are that's injured on the deadlift. A lot of people like to cheat and try to bend with their bicep and try to pull it up. You cannot pull up. You cannot pull four or five hundred pounds off the ground with your arms. You know what I'm saying? Warm up. Be mindful of what movements, what body parts are supposed to be moving. You know what I'm saying? Be mindful of your form, or you will get injured. You're asking for it. Hmm. This could be the video. All right, y'all. That workout was pretty much 
of failure. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to do another physique update. My plans right now, I'm going to do another physique update. This time, I'm going to do it right. You know, I'm going to try to release some of the water weight that I had. You know, lose another couple pounds of fat. And I think that will be my final physique update, which I haven't hit all the ones that I should have hit anyways. But, um, you know, I think I need to start eating again. I'm not going to blame only the fact that I'm not eating as the factor of why my fails, my lifts keep failing. There's other factors, other other things in the way. You know what I'm saying? There's always something in the way. I need my own gym. I need a gym at home so I can take the mentality I have when I'm at home and just go in the other room and hit it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, distractions, you know what I'm saying, hit me everywhere on the road. They hit me um, if I stop at a store, you know what I'm saying? People, when you're focused, it's like people see that focus and they want you to focus on them, I guess. They want you to take your focus off of whatever you're, whatever you're doing and put, that, put your focus towards them. And I don't get it. That's why, you know, a lot of people are never successful because they never... Focus on what the, you focus on what you're doing. You'll be doing a lot better. But interesting story. Side note: I was watching YouTube, trying to get my mind right in between those last failure sets or whatever. Um, I did get a pretty good workout before I started filming. Um, my warm up was great. You know, after the film, I got a few sets that wasn't worth filming but so energy energy expenditure not editing that out but energy expenditure was you know you know on point but you know my show off lifts that i was trying to get on camera eh? but i found out another thing another case that you know i'm trying to tell people to be careful what they do or how they treat people um larry wills larry wills you know, is the allegations true or not? There's audio. I'm going to cut this light off. Y'all not going to be able to see me. But there's audio. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Not that many cars out. So you're automatically a target <laughs> to get pulled over. So don't make yourself more of a target by having a light on in here. But um, Larry Wills is being accused of being a wife beater. Um... I don't know. I had a video um, a long time ago, joking, titled um, The Next Larry Wills, just because I was lifting some heavy. I was lifting the heaviest dumbbells in the gym, the 125s, um, which that's all we got at our gym. And at the time, I could probably, I could probably do the 150s. Not right now. I'm 168 pounds, so at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do that. Like I said, I'm going to do that physique update, and I'm done. I'm, I'm going to get back to eating. You know what I'm saying? Get back to eating and start throwing around some weights again. Um, yeah, it's stuff, man. It's only two things you go do. You go, you go show off outside. You go show off in the gym. Right now, summertime, take a shirt off, walk down the street. People go, oh my God, abs. It's time for that. So showing off outside is kind of like Trump's showing off in the gym right now. But I miss it. Every time I go to the gym, I miss it. But uh, yeah, back to that story, man. I mean, I haven't heard the whole story. I'm like halfway through the um, Kenny Ko. Um, video on it. Y'all do y'all research. Y'all look it up. But Larry Wills, if you actually done that, you know what I'm saying? Which I haven't heard the whole thing. I heard the first audio part, and I think he had more to it. But um, I didn't hear the whole thing. But bruh, I agree with Kenny if that's true. Gets no respect for me, bro. You know what I'm saying? As a man. And that's another thing. Like, it's like Roy Rage. He's open about his steroid use. I'm not saying it's only that. People that's not on steroids can do the same thing. So I don't know if it's just contributed to that. But there's so many stories of people messing up their whole family because of steroids. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, what's the wrestler? Um, I think it was Chris Benoit a long time ago. God bless his family and all that. But, man, 
You know what I'm saying? People get on that stuff and they can't control themselves. I've heard of people destroying their whole house, just punching every wall out in the house because they're just on fire because of the stuff in their system. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, y'all are really tripping to do what? To show off a who? You know what I'm saying? For 15 minutes of fame. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, man. Never, never. I would never in my life. You know what I'm saying? But y'all look up these stories, man. It's Sean Roden. It's Larry Wills. Um, this Jeremy. I forget his last name. I'm not really a big fan of bodybuilders, so I'm like, I forget names. But it's all kinds of controversy right now. The bodybuilding. It's just like any other celebrities, though. But it's like, and they're human beings. Things happen to people in real. This These things happen in real life to everyday people. You know what I'm saying? Everyday people do these things. Um, so don't just look at celebrity. You know, you got to you gotta look at your own life. At the end of the day, take all these things and, and take them as a lesson. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, being alone makes you strong, man. I'm telling you. You stay away from certain things. Other people's problems won't become your problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, things can pop off at home. I mean, but... I'm telling you, man, watch what you do, watch how you live, you know what I'm saying, watch what you do to people, I don't know the whole story, but that's never, ever, ever, ever the way to go, you know what I'm saying, that's never the way to go when it comes to handling any situation with your spouse, putting hands on somebody who cannot defend themselves is never the way to go, like, I see if you're defending yourself, if somebody come at you, especially if they come at you with a weapon or a hot pot of grease or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. And I handle the consequences. I think. Bring your cousin, your brother, your daddy, whoever. You know what I'm saying? But man on woman, violence should not happen. You know what I'm saying? It just should not. But comment, like, subscribe. Peace. Heed my words. Being alone makes you strong. Believe that. Hell yeah. Trying to get this Dave Vince Press video in. All right, got the 90s I just did. I made a big mistake, two big mistakes. I went straight, well, this ain't a big mistake, but this body weight it kind of is, but I went straight from the 80s, skipped the 85s, and went straight to the 90s, which ain't that bad, but the time I took in between the 80s and the 90s, I didn't really focus, I didn't really breathe, I didn't really do the things that I tell y'all to do all the time. You know, I get like that when I'm shooting a video, I just want the, I want the scene, I want the shot. I need to just act like I'm not even making a video. 
But hey, that comes with time, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a, a new YouTuber, so you know what I'm saying? Bear with me, y'all. But I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and I'm gonna take like five minutes and I'm gonna hit that same set. And if it's too heavy, I stick with that. If it's not too heavy, I go with the 95s, 100s, whatever. And when I get too heavy, I'm gonna go ahead and hit flat bench, which is a lot. You know, the incline is way harder than flat, but I hit both, you know what I'm saying? You gotta hit everything from different angles if you want that round chest, round arms. If you want that round look to your muscles, you want your muscles to be full, you gotta hit every muscle from different angles. Safely, learn how to do it and then do it, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, I just failed again for the second time, which is cool. At this body weight, you must pick and choose your battles when you're going heavy. Because if you just try to muscle through it the way that most people do, I could do that and easily get another 10, 15, 20 pounds. But you got to think. Your shoulders, you got to think, like I just said, you got to think of everything. Your body, you get one body. This one workout ain't going to make or break you. You know what I'm saying? It's a million workouts, pennies add up to a dollar type thing. Snowball effect. You see what I'm saying? Just because I'm on camera, I'm not, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post my wins, I'm gonna post my loss, I'm gonna post my failures. This is a lot of weight for a person that's 168 pounds. So, like I said, I'm gonna just go ahead to the flat bench and uh, with a flat dumbbells and um, I'm gonna go ahead and bench them, which I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get way more than 95. So I'm gonna probably get the 105s or better. We got 125s. Y'all seen me pressing those a couple months ago before my cut. Y'all seen me press those during my cut. Go to my other bench press videos if you don't believe me. If you're a newcomer, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I'm trying to tell you mass moves mass, energy expenditure, calories in versus calories out. I'm cutting still. I could be done cutting. Y'all seen my physique update. Go see that video. I could be done cutting. I'm not doing a show. You know what I'm saying? It's the difference between you know cutting for a show and just cutting for the summer. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to stay lean throughout the summer. Then I'm gonna start bulking up again. You know, slowly but surely. But yeah, just take them on for the journey, man. Y'all see how it's done. I actually cut my workout short.